Okay, thank you very much. Good morning from Costa Rica to everybody. And good afternoon in, in Oxford. And I, I'd like to thank the organizers for allowing me to present uh, this uh, overview on the efforts that we are doing in Latin America to confront the problem of snake bite uh, and venoming. Before I, I start my talk, I'd like to uh, congratulate my very good friend and colleague, uh, Cesare Montecuco, for his lifetime achievement award, very well deserved. Congratulations, Cesare. So um, snake bite and venomin, as you know, is a big public health problem in, in Latin America and the Caribbean. Um, this uh, work by Jean-Philippe Chipot described that every year we have uh, about 57,000 envenomins and 370 deaths due to snake bites. However, this information comes from uh, data from the ministries of health and it is very likely that it is an underestimation of the actual magnitude of this problem in our, in our region. Um, most snake bites are uh, inflicted by species of the genus Bothrops uh, and also the rattlesnakes Crotalus and about one to 2% of snake bites by the lapid snakes of our continent, the coral snakes Microbus. Uh, we have had a long tradition in, in this field in research in antivenom production and in clinical management. This tradition started with the work of uh, Vital Brasil Mineiro da Campanha in Sao Paulo, Brazil, who produced in 1901 the first uh, antivenom for, for Latin America. He also published in the year um, 1911 this uh, iconic book, book uh, A Defensa Contra Ofidismo, The Defense Against Ofidism. Other people in the region have also contributed along the decades, uh, such as Clodomiro Picado in Costa Rica, who also studied this problem, brought solutions to our country, and also wrote this uh, uh, important book, uh, Venomous Snakes from Costa Rica, published in 1931. And along the last centuries and the last decades, several institutions have devoted their interest and, and commitment to uh, confront this problem, such as Instituto Butantan in Brazil, Instituto Malbran in Buenos Aires, Argentina, Instituto Clodomiro Picao in Costa Rica, at Instituto Butantan, there is a clinic, the Hospital Vital Brazil, uh, specializing in attending snake uh, bite and venomins, and many regional efforts and, and partnerships have uh, developed over the decades uh, in this topic. In the decade of 2000, we were able to create a network for the first time, a network of public anti-venom manufacturing laboratories. This network was supported by uh, the program CITED, by the Japanese International Cooperation Agency, and by the program PENCIDI of the Organization of American uh, States. I have to say that in addition to this uh, public universe of anti-venom manufacturing laboratories, there are also uh, private manufacturing laboratories in Mexico and Argentina. Um, this network of, pub, of public laboratories was also supported by the Pan American Health Organization, which convened a technical consultation meeting in Sao Paulo in the year 2007. Uh, as part of these efforts, this regional and, uh, networking, um, we developed several workshops, uh, one of them uh, on antivenom production, to, to have a, a, an overview of antivenom production, another one on the stability distribution and use of antivenoms. And also there were a research initiatives, collaborative research initiatives in the region. In particular, we carried out a, a large study on the preclinical efficacy of antivenoms produced in Latin America. And this resulted in this publication in, in the year 2010. It's probably the largest uh, preclinical study ever done in our region, several antivenoms produced in six countries were evaluated against uh, the most important Botros venoms. And the findings were encouraging because uh, the results show that uh, antivenoms in general have a broad uh, paraspecific neutralization ability against Botrops venoms in the region. These developments in our region, uh, when these developments were taking place, there were other developments on a global basis which were very important. Um, and, and, and we're a breakthrough in this, in this field. As you will know, in the year 2017, the World Health Organization included snake bite and venomin in its list of neglected tropical diseases. 
This why followed in the year 2018 by a resolution unanimously approved in the World Health Assembly to urge member states to take uh, actions on this problem of snake bite and venom. And this was followed in the year 2019 by the issuing of the uh, global strategy of the World Health Organization global strategy to control and prevent the snake bite and venom, a strategy based on four main pillars. So while these developments were undergoing on a global basis, uh, the Pan American Health Organization in our region took the lead to promote this uh, global strategy within uh, Latin America and the Caribbean. And this uh, is being coordinated by the Department of Panactosa, which is a department of the Pan American Health uh, Organization. So with the lead of, of Panactosa and the work previously developed in our region, uh, this network of public antivenom manufacturing laboratories was consolidated or formally consolidated in RELAPA. RELAPA is the network of public antivenom manufacturing laboratories in Latin America, is being coordinated by, by a Pan American Health Organization, and uh, several publications have emerged from this initiative. There is a web page of RELAPA uh, in the uh, Pan American Health Organization. So this, uh, this network, uh, again, uh, brought together all the public laboratories in charge of antivenom manufacturing in the region and started to develop several initiatives. Uh, one of the most important activities of RELAPA has been the development of webinars based on the WHO guidelines for antivenom uh, production, control, and regulation. These guidelines uh, were translated to Spanish by Gabriela Solano from Instituto Clodomiro Picado. And this Spanish translation has been widely distributed in the region and is being quite useful in antivenom manufacturing laboratories. Uh, so in addition to the webinars, we have continued the studies on the preclinical evaluation of antivenoms with some antivenoms were, that were not uh, evaluated in the first study, some venoms that were not studied. And now a, a, a research project is going on. We expect to have these results by the end of this year or the beginning of next year. So this will complete the, the, the platform of preclinical evaluation of antivenoms in our region. Also, RELAPA has provided support to ministries of health, particularly in Peru, Ecuador, Guyana, and Paraguay on several aspects of snake bite and venom. And uh, also uh, technical support has been provided to manufacturers, particularly in Ecuador and Peru. Um, in addition, uh, we have placed the emphasis on having meetings with focal points at the ministries of health. So working not only with antivenom manufacturers, but also with people in charge of the snake bite and venom in programs at the ministries of health in the region. So to, to describe a little bit more about these webinars that we have organized on the basis of the WHO guideline for antivenom production, Nine uh, technical webinars have been organized in different sections of the guidelines with an attendance of about 500 people. This is screenshot in the right uh, corresponds to one of these webinars uh, on, on the organization of serpentariums and so on. And these webinars are available in this uh, 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 link in the webpage of, uh, of RELAPA in Panaptosa, and you are welcome to follow uh, these, uh, these webinars. Also, uh, technical support, as I mentioned, has been uh, provided and is being provided to ministries of health. And we have organized uh, several workshops. For example, these uh, photographs correspond to a workshop developed in March of this year in Guyana, in support of the Ministry of Health of Guyana and with the coordination of the Pan American Health Organization. Uh, this workshop uh, was organized to, to train physicians and nurses in the management of St. Biden Venom in Guyana. And uh, a booklet was published uh, on this topic and distributed in Guyana together with Antivenom. Uh, webinars have been also organized for health staff in Peru, Paraguay, and uh, Ecuador. And um, this has been one of the, of the activities of, of RELAPA. Also, uh, RELAPA and, 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 and PAHO have been involved in the celebration of the International Awareness Day about snake bite with different uh, publications, uh, posters, uh, and, and graphic material, and uh, to the development of uh, prevention and information on prevention and how to act in the case of snake bite in several languages. And this material has been also widely distributed in our region. 
And on the basis of all these developments related with RELAPA, with the leadership of, of uh, a Pan American Health Organization and the participation of many people from, from our countries, um, we decided to present a proposal to further improve this, this initiative and to consolidate it. So this, this project uh, has been called Towards an Integrative Approach to Improve Management on Snake Bite and Venom in, in Latin America. It was presented to the Wellcome Trust and it was approved by the Wellcome Trust. So now we're getting support, financial support from Wellcome to further develop these initiatives in the, in the region. And this new project, which is just starting uh, right now, has three main objectives. The first objective is to consolidate RELAPA as a network of antivenom laboratories. And for this, we will continue with the technical meetings and webinars, with the strategic meetings with the authorities of institutions, not only with the technical staff, but also with the political staff, uh, technical exchanges and advice to manufacturers to, to increase the capacity of production. And uh, we expect through this project to, to catalyze the distribution of antivenoms in the region based on the preclinical studies that we are developing. And uh, overall, at the end of the project, we aim to improve uh, qualitatively and quantitatively the regional capacity to produce, uh, to produce safe and effective antivenoms. So this is the first objective of the new project. The second objective is to uh, develop, uh, for the first time, regional guidelines for the diagnosis and treatment of envenomines. We have national guidelines in many countries, but we wanted to have these uh, regional guidelines. And, and I'm, I'm pleased to tell you that this uh, uh, initiative is almost finished. This uh, new guideline is, is almost finished. We are in the final steps of, of preparing this. I know David Worrell will like this news very much because he has been uh, asking for these guidelines. You know that there are guidelines in Asia and Africa, but uh, guidelines in Latin America were, were pending. And with these guidelines, we plan to, of course, to publish that, them and print it and online. And we plan to organize an open interactive virtual course on the manage, management of snake bites. And also, this is a very ambitious goal to organize in-person workshops for health workers in 14 countries in the region. So this is uh, um, on the pipeline of this, of this particular project. And uh, the third objective of this new project is to strengthen the network of representatives of the ministries of health in charge of snake bite programs in each country. Some countries already have uh, people in charge of snake bite programs, some countries do not. So we want through this project to consolidate focal points in each ministry of health in the region to devote uh, attention to snake bite and venom and to have a specific programs uh, to confront the snake bites. So we, we want to coordinate with, uh, with ministries of health. We would like to gather robust information on incidence, mortality, and regions of higher risk, to have uh, reliable information on antivenom need, and to consolidate national programs of prevention and control. One of the initiatives that is, is uh, being undertaken is the development of a, a standardized a form to collect information uh, of snake bites and to gather uh, reliable information on the incidence, uh, mortality, regions uh, affected, clinical manifestations, and so on. So this, this forum has been developed and is under consultation uh, with the public authorities uh, of the region. So overall, uh, and with the efforts carried out over decades, and particularly the efforts being undertaken right now with the, with the support of this new program, we want to uh, create a or to consolidate a multi-sectorial and international partnership between antivenom manufacturers, particularly in the public realm, ministries of health, Pan American Health Organization, health workers in the region, and also to involve the research community to innovate in different aspects of this, of this problem and this area. And with this, I'd like to, to thank uh, our colleagues from, from uh, Pan American Health Organization from Panaftosa, Marco Vigilato, Felipe Rocha, Larissa Sanete, Julio Pompei, and Otorino Cosibin for uh, having uh, become uh, the, the, the focal point, the leadership in the development of these initiatives in the region with the uh, technical and scientific support of Instituto Butantan through Dr. Fan Wiwen and Instituto uh, Clodomiro uh, Picao. And of course, uh, with the participation of 
many people in many countries uh, which in different fronts are uh, struggling to reduce the impact of snake bite and venom to improve the regional production of antivenom and the knowledge base evidence uh, for these policies. And of course, we'd like to thank also Welcome for the technical, uh, for economic financial support uh, they are providing for this new step. And with this, I thank you very much for the invitation and for your attention. And I am open to ask, uh, to answer any questions or comments that you have.